why should you even care about Facebook Messenger bots? Well, take a look at this chart. This orange line over here represents the big four messaging apps. And as you could see, right around Q1 of 2014, right over here, the big four messaging apps became more popular, used more frequently by the big four social networking apps, which means Facebook Messenger, and this is actually the case today, Facebook Messenger is by far a more popular and more used app than Facebook itself. And just think about how crazy that is. The problem is only 1% of businesses are able to engage with their customers automatically and that scale using chatbots, which is what we discussed before, because no one knows how to code or very few people know how to actually write code for Facebook uh, chatbot APIs. So this is the hottest space in digital advertising today. Um, let's take a look at the most popular messaging apps in the US, and this is by monthly active users. Facebook Messenger by far has the most monthly users at around 103 and a half million active uh, monthly users. Um, so not only is it by far the most popular messaging app, it's also the only messaging app with an API, and this is something that we mentioned, but just this chart just gives you a sense of, of scale, of just how much bigger Facebook Messenger is than any other chat platform. So if you're interested in getting involved in a chat platform, and again, you might think that this information is stupid or it's irrelevant, it's not. Because you could take these slides and you could show them to your boss, you could show them to your partners, you can get corporate buy-in by having them understand how big of an opportunity this actually is. Uh, just briefly, Facebook Messenger users, this is data put together by TechCrunch, has now reached 1.3 billion. There are one, <laughs> that's a crazy number. There's 1.3 billion active users on Facebook Messenger. So it's worthwhile to engage with your customers where they are. Your customers are on Facebook Messenger. They're talking about your brand. They're talking about your company, your products, your services, or at least your market and your industry with their friends and connections on Facebook. You have the opportunity with bot, with Facebook bot, good Facebook bots to interject yourself into that conversation and actually engage with them. But let's talk for a moment about engagement rates. Facebook Messenger bot engagement rates are 10 to 80 times better than email or newsfeed engagement rates. And that is a metric which is not only true, but it's astounding, literally astounding. All, most of you have run email campaigns before. Most of you have used you know, tools like MailChimp and Constant Contact or HubSpot to send out email marketing campaigns, drip campaigns, and that's a good thing to continue to do. It's still a very powerful form of marketing because essentially it's still free once you have a list, of course. Um, but you'll get, you know, your typical campaign will probably generate five to 10% open rates. A really good campaign could generate 20 to 25% open rates, but that's, you're, you're hitting the, the top of your typical high level mass email campaign. Facebook newsfeed, when you post something organically to Facebook in your newsfeed, it has a zero to 1% organic post visibility. Uh, these are actual metrics. Facebook Messenger blasts, and there's a number of different ways to use bots. One of them is a blast, one of them is a drip campaign, one of them is a Facebook message guard, another one is actually creating Facebook Messenger ads, and we're gonna talk about all of those. I'm sorry for speaking so fast, but I don't wanna get bogged down in, in what's coming. But the Messenger Blast, which is one of the most powerful features of Mobile Monkey, gives you, if you do it right, and, and I have done this over and over and over again, and I'm, and I'm still like freaked out by how high these engagement rates are, 70 to 80% open rates within the first 60 minutes. That means, and I, I've seen them at 95%. And I, I'm telling you, I don't wanna say 95% like in my slide because if you don't get 95%, like you're gonna be upset at me, but easily 70 to 80% open rates, 50 to 60% engagement rates off the charts. People actually engage. And these engagement rates don't necessarily apply only when the customer or the prospect does not know this is a bot. I have bots that I've built and we're gonna build these together that literally start off, hey, first name, it's your friendly neighborhood Facebook Messenger bot. And you're just totally upfront about it that I'm a bot. And you still get these incredibly high engagement rates. So um, that's a massive, massive reason to take this very seriously because there is no other marketing channel right now that exists and I'm telling you this, and I mean this sincerely because I, 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 this is what I do for a living. All I do all day is run campaigns on these different marketing channels. There is no other marketing channel that exists today that has these sorts of enga engagement rates. It's, it's off the charts. Live chat, right, could be slow, could be frustrating. You need to staff it 24 seven, right? 
waiting and you you guys have all done this. You go online, unless, you, unless you're dealing with Zappos, which has an, but you're not Zappos, right? Zappos has a great, great customer service team. They're known for that, uh, but most companies are not Zappos. Waiting in chat queues on live chat just to ask directions, get a quote to see if an item is in stock, right? It's so inefficient. It takes so much time. It's so frustrating. And, from, and that's from the customer's perspective. From the company's, from the brand's perspective, they have to staff and pay actual people to respond to routine questions 90% of the time because 90% of chats are just routine questions that could be answered with bots and they could be answered better, faster, and again, the key here is at scale. Right, so you have that expense of being staffed. Um, you can't, with live chat on the website, you can't blast a marketing message or a sale or a new coupon to thousands and tens of thousands or even millions of engaged prospects at once. With Facebook Messenger marketing through chatbots, you can do that. With live chat, you can't automate a drip campaign, which is like basically taking complex email marketing campaigns that take a long time and are, don't have a fraction of the of the engagement rates as Facebook Messenger marketing does and create a drip campaign in Facebook Messenger, you could, you could do that with Facebook Messenger. Um, so it's, it's big, it's big, it's highly engaging, um, and it's significantly better than the other alternative to chat, which is you know live chat at this point. Another thing that's really important is thinking about mobile in particular. This type of marketing has the opportunity, it has the ability to change the game entirely for you when it comes to mobile engagement rates, mobile conversion rates. So take a look at some of these metrics when it comes to mobile versus desktop page views and total time on site. Okay, over between 2016, mobile page views went from 40, and this is the total share of, of all page views and time on site for, for websites, 41 to 53%, right? While desktop, which is the light blue, went from 59 to 47%. Mobile gets more page views than desktop does now, and it's been doing so for a year. Time on site, people are spending more time on mobile. 40% to 49%, while desktop went from 60% to 51%, okay? This is extremely important because this trend is continuing. More and more people are engaging with brands on mobile devices than they are on desktop. And it's not, and this is different than saying that mobile is increasing, which mobile hasn't been increasing for many years. It is now more common or more likely that a, that a customer is gonna look for your brand and interact with your brand on mobile than it is for desktop. It's a massive, massive tectonic shift in the industry and it has to be um, talked about for a very specific reason. And that reason is because conversion rates on mobile are still so abysmal. This is a table that shows conversion rate or typical conversion rate by device in the retail industry and, and every industry has different um, has different metrics, but this paints a very accurate overall picture showing 2015, uh, 2016, and 2017. Desktop, if you look down the line here, you know, 3.2 to 3.9% typical e-commerce conversion rate on desktop. Um, tablet in the 2%-ish range, and then look at smartphones, right? Smartphones over here, 0.9%. Uh, in 2015. In 2017, it went up to 1.3, 1.4%, right? Still, less than half of what desktop conversion rates are, right? So, more and more of your customers are using mobile devices. More and more customers are spending time on your mobile website, more so than they are on desktop, yet conversion rates are so terrible on mobile phones because the experience is never really optimized for mobile. So many brands have been so slow, and I've been telling, I tell this to my clients every day, I don't think a day goes by without, have, without having this conversation. You need to redo your site. No, don't just make it responsive. Restructure the content from a mobile first perspective. You can't allow your customers to have to hunt for 15 minutes on a slow, lagging site, scrolling for three minutes to find a customer service number, or to find directions to your store, or to find basic product pricing information. It's, it's, it's a disaster. The problem is it's very, very expensive. To go and redo a big website, it's expensive. It takes time, it takes months, it takes planning, it takes conversion optimization specialists, it, it takes market research, it takes usability testing, all these sorts of things. So, how do chatbots solve the mobile problem? Well, the Facebook Messenger bot experience is completely mobile optimized, right? That's the first step. The entire experience that, that of a customer or a prospect engaging with your bot through Messenger 
It is, it's an app, it's a chat app. There is nothing in the world more mobile optimized, more mobile friendly. You're able to prime users and give them essential information about your product, your brands, your services before they visit your mobile site. This is incredibly important to realize and to think about and when you start actually thinking about this, you're gonna start getting some good strategies for how to build a mobile bot. So start writing down on scratch pad some ideas. If you're an auto transport company, you're able to build a custom quote engine using a chatbot so they don't have to go to your site and they, before they go to your site to get additional information or they might not even have to go to your site at all because we'll talk about strategies like that shortly, you could actually produce a quote for an, a, an auto transport or a quote for a doctor's visit or a quote for um, a, a custom catering business and that could all be done through chatbot marketing so they don't have to go to your mobile website, have it load slowly and it'd be annoying. If I was um, looking for a pair of shoes and I chatted the company through Facebook Messenger, I was talking to a bot and I said, hey guys, do you have a size 15? I have a freaking large foot. I said, do you have a size 15 of this shoe in stock? And they got back to me They're like, no, we actually don't have this stock, this, 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 this shoe in a size 15, but we have these four shoes in a size 15. They spit, they spit those shoes out to me with links to where I could buy them. That all took place on Facebook Messenger. And imagine how frustrating that would be if I had to go to a mobile site. You've all been, you've all tried to shop e-commerce sites on a mobile site and if and unless it's like the best most optimized app in the world unless you're Amazon or Wayfair it's annoying to have to go and filter by size and filter by style they sent me links to the size that I need that are in stock right crazy crazy efficient if people want um, your store hours or directions to your store or store locations uh, just other pricing information basic FAQ frequently asked questions about your products or services all that could be done on the customers own schedule, when they want to look at their messaging app, when they want to engage, and it can be done at scale for free to thousands of prospects at once, right? Without them ever having to go to your mobile site. So it's wild. So there's no more hunting for customer support numbers, FAQs, store locations, and, and things like that. If you do this right, right, you can get your prospects from the top of the funnel, right, when they're just in the awareness stage. In my other courses, we've talked about the AIDA um, buying funnel, awareness, interest, desire, action. You could take them from that awareness stage, oh, I became aware that this product or service exists, and through the Facebook Messenger platform, I've made you interested, I've made you desired it, and now I can even get you, prompt you to take an action, go to the site and buy, or sign up for a webinar or register for an event right within Facebook Messenger. So you could supplement the, mob the poor mobile experience that you have, you could even replace, you could literally replace the mobile experience that you have by bringing your website experience, bringing your website funnel into Facebook Messenger. It's, it's a wild, wild concept. Like you could, you might have spent, and I've done this myself and for clients, spend hours and weeks building landing pages, building a funnel, building forms, building a checkout process. You could take that experience, which is not very mobile friendly, as indicated by the poor conversion rates. You could take that all and you could literally reconfigure and redesign it for the Facebook Messenger platform through a chatbot and have it work so much better, so much more profitably, so much more efficiently. It's extremely exciting. As you can tell, I'm excited about this because I've seen it work, I've been doing this, and it, like I said a few times, it blows my mind. <laughs>